Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have successfully completed the authentication thing. Only some basic things are remaining. That is nothing but we are showing the logout button even when the user is not logged in. So it should not be happened like this, right? So for this reason, we let's let's try to remove that logout button. So this will be present in the nav bar. So how can we say that logout button should not be there? So how can we say that the user is logged in? when the store contains the data that is the data is nothing but the uh, pinia store so user details for example if i go to the view let it load it and here in our pinia store where is this pinia sometimes pinia will not come i don't know in the inspect element let's see it again i have refreshed this page let it refresh and view is loading yeah this time pinia came and here user object is empty right so that means the user is not available the logout should not be shown for example if i try to do testdirectest.com and i am doing 1 2 3 4 5 6 means then if i click on the login then i should be able to see the user details then the logout button should appear so these are the two things which we need to do so now the logout button should be visible only when the user details are there if the user details are not there means then the logout button should not be visible so for this one what we need to do is so here in our auth store okay if i go to our auth store in our auth store we are having the user and we are exposing that user to the public okay fine let's go to the nav bar and here in this nav bar we are having this logout button right we need to add a condition that auth store dot user is there right so auth store dot user is there so for this reason what i can do for this one i can add a condition vi if and if auth store dot user dot uid the uid is there then only show this logout button so what is this vi if it is showing wrong yeah nothing now if i try to see the output let's try to refresh this page now i should be able to see the logout thing so i should be able to see the logout thing why because user details are present so redirecting the page to the other uh, other page so we'll try to see now if i click on the logout so logout has been gone why because user object is empty now if i try to log in it should be able to visible so now if i try to do again now the logout button is there now the last final thing what we'll do is so here we will show that user email also so that we can able to understand the user who has logged in so auth store dot user dot email fine uh, let's make it a small t yeah now if you see the output let's refresh this page and here you should be able to see the user email also fine right so oh yeah logout test the test now if i click on the logout so it has been removed now when the then uh, final thing what i want to tell is so when i successfully logged in so if i am trying to successfully log in it should redirect the user to the notes page to the home page so for this one what we need to do here in our auth store so we have our auth store right so here in our auth store we are having the auth state changed so here we can use the router thing to push the navigate the user from one page to another page using the router dot push for this reason what i can do is i can import the router so constant router is equal to use router okay this should be imported from the view router use router so here it is imported use router view router now if the user is successfully logged in then what i can do is router dot push and we have the use uh, notes right so name is equal to notes so we have an alias name so it should write it to the notes <coughs> if the user is logged out so if the user is logged out then we can use the same router to replace i am using the replace why i am using the replace is so that the in, in the browser history it will not be saved so here i can do name of auth oh sorry name of auth that's it so now if the user details are there it will push directly to the notes or otherwise it will it will move to the auth page now let's the output if i try to refresh this page it should redirect to the notes page automatically why because the user is logged in no the user is not logged in yeah it has moved to the notes page see now if i try to click on the logout button it should go to the auth page now if i try if i if i log in again if i log in again using the same thing so it is trying to log in so here it has moved to the auth page 
sorry notes page so this is this is the things which i want to discuss before closing of this authentication thing so now we have did the all the authentication thing let's try to enhance some more about the authentication thing and we'll try to do it hope you understood about this logout thing and also the redirection if you have any doubts or any suggestions and uh, another thing what i forgot before doing i will commit this branch in a new branch video if 106 so video if 106 who are maybe having a doubts and all those things so they can refer to this code and here redirect redirect auth page user okay i am committing this code so i will commit this code let's commit this code so it is taking some time to commit i think my system is little bit slow i don't know why fine so publish the branch so it will be published it will take some time let it take now um, let it take let it take and whoever may be having a doubts or anything so i have my github repository url so this github repository url the project whoever may be having a doubts and all those things so they can watch this one so everything will be committed into this code the github repository link will provided in the description below so hope you understood about this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you